list. All right, this is fun. We haven't done a list in a couple of days because we've been busy, but this is a really good list today. So Nuno figured out that today, May the 25th, is the anniversary of two of the most legendary sports guarantees ever. May 25th was a day in which Muhammad Ali said he had a dream that he was going to knock out Sonny Liston in the first round. And then, oh, by the way, he knocked out Sonny Liston in the first round in one of the most famous fights in the history of boxing. It is also the anniversary of what will always be remembered, certainly in New York and other places, as the Marc Messier guarantee, which he also lived up to with a hat trick for the Rangers on their way to winning a Stanley Cup in 1994. So anyway, with this being the anniversary of those two, today's green list is the top five guarantees in sports history as named by me and exclusively me, the world's foremost authority on all matters. Number five. Number five is Babe Ruth in Game 3 of the 1932 World Series calling his shot. Babe Ruth pointed to the fence in a game in the World Series and then hit a home run. That would be much higher than number five if we knew for certain it was true. And again, Hembo is my historian, despite the fact that you were born 70 years after this happened. Oh, but I was at the game. But you, you I was in there. spirit, you were at this game. Mm -hmm. Generally speaking, it is not a certainty. It is not. There are many people who question whether he really was calling his shot. There are many people who do question it, but the newspaper reports the next day, even the Hall of Fame to this day, verify it at least enough so that I'm going to believe it. All right. We, I am good with it being on the list, but not being higher than number five on the list of the greatest guarantees of all time. Number four. At number four, if you're wondering where the whole Tim Tebow thing comes from, as Tebow continues to be the subject of so much conversation, Tim Tebow, September 27, 2008, Florida loses to Ole Miss at home, 31-30, and he gave the speech that led to a national championship. Here was a little bit of that speech. I'm sorry. Um, extremely sorry. You know, we were hoping for an undefeated season. That was my goal. Something four has never done here. But I promise you one thing. A lot of good will come out of this. You have never seen any player in the entire country play as hard as I will play the rest of the season. And you never see someone push the rest of the team as hard as I will push everybody the rest of the season. And you never see a team play harder than we will the rest of this season. God bless. That was Tim Tebow, September 27, 2008. They went on to finish 13-1 and and beat Oklahoma for the national championship. As we look back on when Tim Tebow became Tim Tebow, that was the day. Number three. Number three is something I remember very well, and I can sum it up in three words. Fo, fo, fo. Moses Malone on the 83 Sixers. The first of those foes was against my beloved Knicks. I was at game three of that series. Um, they swept the Knicks, they beat Milwaukee in five, and then beat the Lakers in four. So they actually went 4-5-4, uh, but I will give Moses the benefit of the doubt. They did lose the one game against Milwaukee, but for him going into the playoffs, <laughs> when asked for a prediction to say, yeah, we're just going to sweep everybody we play, and then almost do it, is the stuff of legend. And I've said before, and I'll say it again, I covered one of the greatest teams of all time, the 96 Bulls, the team that won 72 games. I've seen most of the greatest teams of all time. For any one given season, that team was as good as any team mm. I've ever seen. The 83 Sixers, Julius, Moses, Mo Cheeks, Andrew Tony, that whole group, that, that team was as good for one year as any team I've ever seen in my whole life of watching the sport. Moses and Fo 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 was number three. Number two. Number two is Ali. May 25th of 65, he says he had a dream. He knocked out Sonny Liston in the first round, and then he would knock him out at the two-minute mark of the first round. I mean, you wonder how you become Muhammad Ali and you <laughs> wind up, I mean, I have a dream I'm going to beat Sonny Liston in the first round, and then you do it. The stuff of legend, Ali is number two. Number one. But if you know me, you know there can only have been one first choice. I think we got a heck of a shot of winning. We beat anybody in the world, and I think we're going to win next Sunday. That is Joe Willie Namath, Broadway Joe, guaranteeing that the upstart 18-point underdog New York Jets of the American Football League, who quote-unquote did not belong on the same field with the Baltimore Colts in Super Bowl three, not only went out there and beat them, lived up to that guarantee and made himself a legend, but probably changed the shape of the sport of football more than any other player in any other game in its history. 
They may have done away with the Super Bowl if the Colts had blown out the Jets. People thought, why are we bothering with this? The real championship game is the NFL championship game. Why are we bothering with these Chiefs and Raiders and Jets on the other <laughs> side? Two years later, there's a merger, and now look at them. Joe Namath changed the world with his guarantee. He is number one on today's list of the top five guarantees in sports history. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.